Hello, my name is Silas Brevsky, and today we are here at the East Ham Elementary School located on Schoolhouse Road in East Ham, Massachusetts, just footsteps away from the Cape Cod National Seashore Salt Pond Visitor Center and the famous Coast Guard Beach. We will be, getting, uh, we will be meeting with school principal Mr. William Crosby and also getting a quick glimpse of the school as well. Silas again with Mr. William Crosby here. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Crosby, how long have you been a principal at the East End Elementary School? Silas, I just started July 1st, so I'm a brand new principal here. Okay, is this your uh, first time being a principal for a school? Yeah, it is actually. Okay. Um, I taught for uh, 20 years um, in an elementary school in Sandwich. I taught fourth grade, and um, this opportunity uh, came about last winter and um, applied for the job and went through uh, an extensive process and um, was chosen the, the candidate for this year. And which school was it that you taught for 20 years at? Um, it was a school in Sandwich called the Oak Ridge School. Okay. All right. And so what are some of the unique qualities you may have noticed about the uh, East Ham Elementary School? Mm -hmm. you know, what are you currently most proud of at yeah. the school? Um, first of all, the transition of you know coming from the classroom. I taught fourth grade for 20 years and so um, I was a little uh, nervous, really. I had never. I had worked as um, an assistant principal and, and filled in in my own building. You know, when the administration was out, and so I had some idea of what it was like. Um, so it's the first step up to becoming a principal. So there's all the new opportunities and those new responsibilities. New responsibilities. It's just uh, managing. You know, not only a classroom of children, but managing. Uh, you know, teachers. You know, interacting with parents. Yeah. Um, having conversations with guys like you. You know. Um, and so that transition initially was, um, I, I guess, because it was the unknown. I didn't know what, at some level, what to expect. Um, and so I spent the summer um, just spending a lot of time here, and you know, trying to get to know as many people as I could, working closely with the secretaries and and with the administration, you know, in the, the, the Nauset region, and just trying to get myself comfortable. But really, it wasn't until you know those first couple of days of school that I began to, you know, experience what East Ham Elementary was all about. You know, when the teachers came back and the kids came back, so. Yeah, so it definitely helps, you'd say, to know the faculty, you know, who you're working with, start to be kind of, you know, become familiar with the students. Yeah, and, yeah you know. absolutely. And um, uh, I, I can't tell you how, you know, just the timing personally, you know, that this, this, that this opportunity came for me, um, it just, I've been thrilled, you know, as much as I love the classroom, I love, you know, the management piece that uh, presents itself as being a principal in the school. Um, I enjoy working with the teachers, um, and I think I can relate, really, to what they're going through um, and what they do on a day-to-day -day basis because of my experience. Um, also, being a fourth grade teacher, um, I've built my career on, uh, you know, building relationships with kids, and so, uh, I've really enjoyed that. You know, I've been able to spend a lot of time, you know, when you're a classroom teacher, it's, you're very self-contained. So you're in, in a classroom all day, and yes, you have colleagues, and you move around a little bit, but you don't really get to experience, um, you know, the nuances and the activities and the things that are going on in all of the other grades. And so this is a, has afforded me that opportunity. Um, I love being in kindergarten, first grade, you know, second grade, and just spending time in the classroom. And then it's, it's nice also to be able to, to walk out the door, too, and to be involved in doing something else. Exactly. So you can sort of step back from just the one classroom. You can take a look at the whole yeah. picture. You get to meet all of the kids. You get to build relationships yeah. with all of the classrooms. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So are there any goals set yet or initiatives that you have in place for this school in 2016? Yeah. You know, as an entry plan, let's say, as a new principal, um, my goal this year really has been to... Um, build relationships with people and to, you know, get to know people. I mean, I, seriously, when I came here, I mean, I, I didn't know anyone. And so, as you know, that takes time to build relationships, to build trust. And so I really spent this school year, and first of all, I mean, what's in place so you know, in this elementary school is phenomenal. The staff is very strong. They've got rich traditions that they're always, already um, very proud of and very involved in. Um, the teaching is, is, is very strong, and so I've really spent this time, as I said, building relationships, getting to know the school, uh, getting to know the kids, and, um, and seeing what's in place, 
right yeah, now, which, and which then is what you would do as yeah. the first time here, especially being the sure. principal. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so you know, and, and as we've gone, you know, it, it, I've been, I would feel I've, I've just been responsive um, to to issues that would that that come up. You know, teachers, just different things that happen between teachers and children. Parents and children. I feel at this point, I've been, you know, I have an open door policy. People feel comfortable coming, to, you know, to to um, ask me to talk with me about anything. And I feel like, like so far, I've, you know, I, not really been an agent of, of change because I really feel that there hasn't been a need for it right in, right now. Yeah. So you know, I subtle think things here, yeah, and there. here and there, but then yeah. it works as a whole. So more of a change. It's like, you know, learning the system. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And learning how it works together. So well. exactly. Okay. Right. Uh, do you have any events coming up this spring that you'd like to share with the audience? Um, well, we're just talking. I know um, some teachers. We had a staff meeting yesterday, and they're getting geared up for um, you know Read Across America, which is a, a, a big challenge for the kids and for the staff. And what um, is the uh, program? Um, just briefly. Yeah, it just it's a national um, event yeah. that um, just really encourages you know a week long celebration of reading. Um, you know, Dr. Seuss literature is celebrated, and um, just trying to really get the kids motivated to read and to read independently. Um, and so, there's all sorts of activities that are planned for that week. In fact, um, I was just speaking with a teacher, and um, in a side conversation with somebody else, I think it was a high school student that said, "Hey, by the way, you know, are you, are you gearing up for the activities of Read Across America?" You know, and we'll have you know uh, community members come in to read stories to the kids, and um, so it's this. It's really just a week of promoting, you know, the love of reading. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard it mentioned before. It's definitely a huge yeah. community event yeah. too. The parents are very into it, especially because yeah. getting children to read is a big thing nowadays. Yeah, and if you walk down the hall, you'll see there's a big, you know, map of the United States, mm -hmm. you know, and there's that there's a, a challenge to be able to. And I, I'm not sure what's in place here, but there's a challenge to, you know, and I'm not sure how they measure this, but to actually read, you know, across the, across America, yeah. you know, okay. yeah. So it's kind of neat. So it's sort of like a global tower. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, are there any recent student or teacher achievements you'd like to share? Anything happening recently with staff that's been, you know, yeah. star activity or anything with students showing up? You know, there's there's a lot of team uh, teacher leaders in this building, and I think that's um, has has really helped my transition as a new principal. Um, is that there's some very strong teachers and teacher leaders. Um, we right now have uh, some a, a new math curriculum initiative that's you know that's being implemented. Um, and we have um, a new literacy program that's being implemented. And so I, I really depend upon um, those teachers, the coordinators, the math coordinator, the literacy coordinator, to really help support the teachers as they learn this new curriculum. And so I've, I've just really seen um, lots of strong teachers kind of rise to that leadership role, you know, as far as presenting to the staff, coaching the staff, presenting district-wide, you know, at, at different, uh, Parent forums. Um, I think exactly because you can't be expected to do it all yourself, and it definitely not helps. at all. Yeah. No, no, and, I, and I'm just learning. As I said, I, I taught fourth grade, you know, for 20 years, and so um, you know, I'm not an expert at all the grade levels and all of the uh, the curriculum at those grade levels. So you really depend upon, you know, the, the teachers. They're the professionals. They're the experts. Yeah, exactly. and they've been working with those classes for a couple of years. Absolutely. Now, at least, yeah. So they know how the class works. And I just feel as a person that. You know, as a as a principal, just to support their efforts, you know, to encourage and to help them to get the resources that they need, yeah. you know, that they feel they need to be successful in the classroom. Um, okay. Right. And so, young children they often often say the darndest things. Do you have any funny stories that you'd like to share with us? Anything mm -hmm. that's happened between maybe you and a student interaction, yeah. or how they interact with their teachers? You know. Well, I will. You know. A lot of you know that interact it happens a lot and so to, to pull something that's specific at this point but I think um, what has been neat I well it's been fun for me too is just that their interest in you know I mean they'll just look at me sometimes as you know want to see what's on my tie you know something like that or in, and recently um, uh, I was a hockey player growing up and so um, I was thinking in the winter time you know we've got a nice basketball court out there and when you know, when it gets really cold, you know, basketballs deflate and they're, you know, they're bouncing as well. And so I asked the gym teacher if she had some uh, floor hockey sticks, you know, because yeah. they're not really playing that any, probably anymore in the gym. And she dumped a, a load of them into my office. And um, so 
since then I've gotten some street hockey games going. And so, you know, kindergarten's playing again, you know, with each other, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth mm -hmm. grade, and I'm out there playing with them as well. And so that's that's been a lot of fun this yeah. winter. It really yeah, has. Yeah, students, yeah. and it's a that. great way to bond and, and to build a relationship with them. And, uh, and and it's nice to see, you know, there's not a whole lot of options sometimes at recess, and so it's nice to see kids that may not be a part of an organized sport or may not be a part of a team, you know, picking up a stick and, 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 and playing, you know, trying to, you know, give it a whirl. So yeah, that's been a lot of fun. And definitely, you, you mentioned you have an open door policy. Does that apply to the students as well? Oh, absolutely. Okay, right. so have you been, how has that been working out? If they come to you, how does the relationship work with that, you know? Yeah, and, I, and you know, and it, well, how do you feel about the principal? Like, if you were called to the principal's office, what well, would that mean to you? Usually, if you get called to the principal's office, in my eyes at least, it would be right. you're either getting in trouble right. or something important has happened, you need to be told about it. But if it's an open door policy and you're sort right. of free to go in on yeah. your own volition and you want to talk to them about what you Absolutely. want to talk about, right. it seems like it would be open and it's more of a calm, friendly nature to the principal, at least. Exactly. And that's what I'm trying to create, yeah. to be honest with you. I don't want to have that. You know, stigma of yeah. well, I'm going to the principal's office because Must I'm in be trouble. trouble yeah. Exactly, and so I'm trying to you know, change that so that they do feel comfortable. You know, yeah, so well, you know, I think the, yeah. more of a friend than as a principal. So Absolutely, talk to right. You, they can right. explain their feelings yeah. and anything else. Going exactly, on. and so that's why you know, going out to play street hockey, you know, having kids like you know, we'll fill this room with kids from different grade levels for lunch, and I'll sit with them and chat with them <clears> like that. Or you know, every morning there's morning announcements. Mm -hmm. You know, we have. Um, this music works program where we're playing different um, classical music, you know, and we follow a particular schedule. So the, the grade level kids, you know, will switch every every week. It'll be one classroom for a week, and they'll send down two or three kids, and they'll come down. They'll read the music. We'll do the pledge together as a group, you know, over the PA, and um, and, and make some sort of announcements or whatever, so that they feel that you know that office is a place where yeah, they feel. You, you, the biggest thing is when they're in strange to an office or a principal yeah. or a person or a faculty member. They don't really look at them as a friendly person. But then once you've integrated them and you've shown them who you are and you've met yeah. them and talked to them and shown them the environment you work in, it becomes sort of a familiar place that they feel more comfortable. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So that even kids that are going through some hard times, you know, mm -hmm. things that are, you know, there's kids that are going, you know, there's things that they're going through in, in their own lives, you know. And I would not want them to feel comfortably able to come down and um, that myself and the, and, that, and the office would be a place of comfort and encouragement and support. Yeah, where they can feel safe. Absolutely, and feel right. Exactly, yeah. All right. So finally, uh, is there anything else that we missed that you'd like to tell us about East Ham Elementary School? You mm -hmm. know, is there any last thoughts you have? Yeah, I mean, it, as, a, as a new principal and as a person that um, is new to a community, I, I can't tell you enough how um, the parents, the kids, and the teachers have all, you know, really welcomed me and, and made me very quickly feel part of this community. And um, it... Uh, I just and I and I feel the school itself is. I'd like to refer to it. I mean, obviously, Nosset Light is a is a beacon in this area, and I, and, but I really feel that East Ham Elementary is is somewhat like a beacon, mm -hmm. and I think um, it's a place where not only children but I think families as well um, feel comfortable coming. They feel supported. They feel that if you know we could possibly meet some needs, that that, that they could come here and we could try to help them meet those needs. Um, so that's what, that's what I feel about the school. You know, it's been great to me so far, um, the relationships that I've built, and uh, I just I, I can't tell you how happy I am to, to be here, really. Yeah. Thank right. you. Well, it was, thank you for doing this interview. Yeah, no, absolutely, guys. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. It was nice to meet you. Uh, nice best to meet of you luck too. in Thanks. the rest of the year of 2016 and hopefully many afterwards. Great. So. Yeah. Thanks to you too. Good talk. Hey, that was Thank you very great. Much. Nice to talk to you guys. Mrs. Brown, I teach in the STEM lab at East Elementary School. Today my fifth graders are working on squishy circuits and that involves clay, play-doh, and batteries and some fun things. Why don't you go check out and see what they're doing? Okay. Red wire goes through red wire. Black wire, like green, green. Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, this is a regular My buzzer is not working. Make sure your circuits can try a light bulb. Make sure the circuits still work. Okay. Yeah, let's make the one in here. So it's like, you have to try one. Check your probes again. Wait, dude. Those need blue. Can we just put it in? Um, we are making circuits out of um, clay and Play-Doh. So, and um, right now it's not really working, but a couple minutes ago it was. We're trying to figure out how the buzzer works right now. So yeah, thank you. And um, Wait. it just goes like this. The leads need to be in the same. Oh, red to red and black to black. She just red to red, black to black for the motor. Oh, this is. And make sure they're not touching inside your clay. Yeah, so they cannot touch. All right, so Josh, here, wait. Stick the red in that one. What, how to use the red? Yeah. That one. Uh -huh. Red. 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 No, do you it's not working. Like no, it's supposed to be like yeah. 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 You're not alone, though. Okay. You guys oh, I'm feeling buzz. Do you feel it? Yeah, I'm feeling it. Oh, good. You're not feeling it? <laughs> no, I don't feel it. <laughs> I did. This one's yellow. Okay, so yeah, I feel. You guys may have. Yeah. Is your motor working? Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to circuit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's a, the bird. it's a circuit maker, but we were we have the best idea. We were trying to figure out which color which one is, and we had to test all the lights. But we just realized that the colors are right there. No, I'll draw one way, you draw the other, and then make like kind of like a head thing. It's vibrating, but it's not making any oh, sound. A vi no, because that's the vibrating one, I think. Here. Wait, then take it Oh, it looks like D4. Every time Joey oh, says no, Hannah, my name's Hannah, so, Hannah so, so I get really confused sometimes. Jordan Walk. He's like, hey, um, well, today we are learning, learning about, um, no. how, how, um, electricity can conduct through, um, different materials, and, yeah, and we had a hard time figuring it out until now, and we figured out how to do it, so, um, now we can do this, wait, just. So yeah, and this like this vibrates, and we're still having a hard time with this. But yeah. So. Thanks. So if you try your motor without your clay, you should be able to make it go. Yeah, it's blur. Yeah. Yeah. Hold, you hold the black to black. Hold the red to red. I think this is your motor. Right? <laughs> try it. Try it with just the motor. Yeah. You can take two of them. One person with the motor. Yeah, you put that on. You do it. No, hold it down there. Okay, yeah. Oh, wait, maybe you're so. Let's see what you're doing. Hold this. Now. Hold this there. Vibrate. You hold this. Okay. Black to black. Yeah, ours does not work either. Oh my god. Black to black. Yeah, ours just not work either. Black to black. Mine are ours are really bright, but ours still does not work. And the rest of the board is like check. Let's just keep going down. Wait, I 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 just keep Wait, Josh, hold this. Hold this. Are you ready? Yes. Here, wait. They're the the middle one. Right. Take two, right? I did it! Yay! Yay! Because now the um. Oh, what did I do? Wait, I had it. And you broke it. There we go. There we go. Kind of works though. Play on top. Oh my god. Today, I learned how to annoy my mom with a buzzer that makes a really loud sound. Oh, that's right. Oh. They used to be. <laughs> <laughs> so it was your motor that was bad. It's like a paper cup machine. We cash you on paper cup. Okay. Wait, look. Wait, hold the circuits really quick. Um, well, we kind of found this one that's kind of like an obstacle illusion. It's made of paper, and we, and we figured out we could do this. And cut into it. So, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Alright, I liked um, a lot of things about today's lesson because we got to learn a lot of stuff and it was very fun. So, yeah. Thank you.
put a battery oh, in them and you can light them up. And it makes the motors and the buzzers didn't work. Wait, Mr. Crosby. Thank you. 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 Thank you.